Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? We got another update for you today, but this one is gonna be a little different. So buckle up because we're gonna talk about everything we're gonna need to keep an eye on for our cookie dough in flour and how to balance it all. Hey guys. At this point, you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. Hey guys, real quick. You guys know we've been longtime users and lovers of Mars Hydro Lights, and now they're Tencent Inline fans too. We just wanted to get a quick announcement out there saying that if you were considering buying something Mars Hydro related, now is the time to do it. Today and tomorrow only, Mars Hydro has huge deals of up to as much as 20% off during their Amazon Prime Day sale. Click the link down below to see all of their huge sales going on right now to get growing. All right guys, so we've been pretty busy lately. Between making bubble hash videos with Rosin Evolution, pressing that hash and flour with our new press from Low Temp Industries, and converting any concentrate into vape solution to take on the go with Terps USA. Well, let's just say we've been dropping new videos at an increased rate, and we've already recorded several more set to come out. We'll link the ones we've released below, but despite how busy we've been, the cookie dough by THC Tone Genetics has been trucking along. You guys have seen us plant midway through this current season just to see how some changes we implemented during the grow did for our ladies. We've top dressed and even lollipops, and now she's trucking through flour. So what are we looking for and what should we expect? Well, for one, environmental needs change. For veg, you might want something around 75 to 80 degrees and 60% humidity, or RH. Once flour comes, you don't want all that moisture in the air as it will inevitably lead to bud rot. So that's one change right off the bat. Secondly, is there increased demand for things like light and newts? As we've explained in past episodes, like the PAR video we'll link in the description, We've explained that the plant needs increased intensities of light throughout their light cycle. For every stage of growth, you will have to find where the sweet spot is between what your plant needs and how much you feed. Good news is, there are pretty solid starting points all over the internet and even in that video we mentioned. Try a grow out at the suggested rates, and then depending on your grow ability and feed amounts, you might have to make a small change or two, but it shouldn't be that far off. Likewise, and speaking of newts, another thing you'll need to change is how much you feed. Just think about it. We've already changed what kind of newts we're feeding with between earth dust base and boost. So it only makes sense that you'll need more throughout the grow. In veg, we need our base nutrients, which came with higher amounts of nitrogen than phosphorus and potassium. In flour though, the plant is using higher amounts of P and K while the need for nitrogen tapers off, which is exactly where the boost comes in. The question for us is, how much? And that's exactly what we're trying to figure out right now in our grow. 
as we continue to make improvements, this is leading to bigger and thus typically hungrier plants. So we're still getting amounts dialed in, but we're also getting our grow dialed in too. With the cookie dough still having been run that first week under lights that are too intense, she was still stunted a little. Along with that, we were going to test next season if her nutrients were too high as well. So playing along, not really knowing amounts and trying to balance things, we went with a nice safe amount for her first top dress at just a quarter cup of boost and a quarter cup of earthworm castings. Since that worked pretty well, we decided to stay pretty similar but compensate for needing additional nutrients at this stage of growth by adding an eighth cup of base. We saw that the amounts were a little off with one of our photos who taught us that you do need some base in there to take care of nitrogen needs. Gave her the same amount of earthworm castings and we have a slightly heavier dose to get us to the end of flower here. As if all that wasn't enough already, the last thing we're noticing is increased amounts of magnesium needed as well. In short, our babies are getting a rate of CalMag at 1 8 of a milliliter per gallon right now. Veg gets a quarter milliliter per gallon and once she's fully in flower, we're seeing a need to raise things to 1 half milliliter of TPS organic CalMag per gallon of water during feedings. That number is likely going to continue to rise, but we're not quite there yet when it comes to having a clear enough picture to say so. Either way, that should set us up for the rest of flower. And coincidentally, that is it for this week's footage. So if you want in on a current giveaway we're doing, head over to our recent Terps USA video, watch it, you can see how to enter. Until we catch you on Positivity Live this Friday, right here on YouTube at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, keep learning, keep growing. Catch you later, guys. guys.